In this video I'm going to talk about the hover boxes. Now to preview this element simply go to elements and click on hover boxes. And you can see as you can see them here they're basically just uh, some boxes that have some content, an icon right here, a nice hover effect or as a different uh, style you can have a background behind and simply the text so let me just uh, edit with a page builder and if you notice uh, each one the element itself is just a box in this context right here there are three hover boxes so I'm just going to edit this one as you can see the title of the box is this one you can add a subtitle, for example, uh, this uh, hover box uses it, developer wants it. You can provide the description and an image. Now, you, pr you cannot see this image, but is this one, it's actually an SVG, a vectorial uh, uh, image. And you can add a box link. Basically, if you click the box, it will uh, link to the URL you provide here and the target. As from a style perspective, you can uh, have uh, the default style, which is the uh, classic uh, version of the hover box. It's basically image, text. Uh, this is uh, we wanted to maintain uh, backwards compatibility with uh, the older versions so we just uh, added the new the new styles uh, in uh, in the future we'll most likely won't support the the default uh, uh, default style because it's a, a bit outdated and we want to move forward on to the um, onto the uh, better styled uh, uh, versions so as you can see you can choose the, the style you can choose a box background color let me just click you can see it's a live uh, uh, color picker and the content style whether you want it uh, aligned normally or centered as you can see the box increased and the uh, the, uh, the image is actually like this cut from the right because uh, it was mostly designed for the uh, second uh, right side image uh, uh, style now in case you're wondering why this uh, this uh, selector isn't live uh, that's because uh, the markup uh, of the, the HTML markup of the element is uh, different so it's much more complex so let me just save this one and as you can see the uh, the uh, text is centered while the uh, the image was, is on to the right now that's because we probably want something uh, I don't know a bit more faded something like uh, to look great onto the uh, onto the uh, hover but like I said faded uh, and yeah faded the actually I see a bug here um, this line should have been uh, centered here and uh, I'm going to open a github issue on our uh, tracker to fix it but for the moment I'm just going to um, move forward you can specify here an option into this particular right side image style whether you want to remove the right uh, margin if I click no you will notice the uh, image has a right margin of uh, I don't know 15 pixels I think now because like I said the image it's cut 
actually from the right because uh, I wanted to have it uh, uh, sticked here to the right. Uh, uh, of course I selected uh, yes to remove the right image, uh, the margin sorry. Now I'm going to leave this as normal. I think this option, this option was actually dedicated to the uh, default style and it's actually an inherited uh, option or for the this option right here. Now as you can see it looks broken, don't worry it's not, it's just that uh, this image, this uh, background image this image, sorry, the icon or the SVG added here is now uh, placed as a background image and it's uh, basically stretched onto the whole uh, box. So it actually, uh, it's a normal behavior, don't worry about that. Just uh, as you can see in this example, uh, have a, a nice uh, background image and uh, that should be that should be it. let me just uh, access this uh, this one too and you will understand better what uh, what I'm trying to explain as you can see the image is faded so I can take advantage of the uh, background color selected now in case you're wondering uh, okay how do I change the uh, hover uh, color well, that hover color is actually the thin color, the uh, red, uh, the Kalias red. So if you want to change it, you will have to uh, change the uh, the main uh, color of the team. Now, if you want this, uh, if you want a different color as a, a custom feature. Uh, this is actually interesting. I think I'm going to open a new, new feature, internal feature request, and we'll discuss this uh, uh, with with uh, my colleagues, and we'll probably add a new hover uh, background color. And I think we're going to add uh, the option. So that's about it. Let me, for the sake of the uh, of the uh, tutorial, I'm going to create a new uh, element. I'm going to create first a section. I'm going to resize this column to four columns, or even I don't know six. I'm going to search for hover box. Great, so I'm going to say just a title here, just a subtitle, just a small description here. I'm going to, I want to choose a vectorial image, so I don't know, I think I'm going to choose this SVG, uh, Design Lovers. It's actually, it's actually a logo. We have a, I will just simply add a hash here so the link doesn't, uh, to have a link but to not go anywhere. Then we have the hover box style. I'm going to choose my favorite uh, right side image. I'm going to add a background color of uh, green. Let me make it a little bit darker. Normal. No. And this is the hover box, as you can see. So that's about it. If you still have questions or have uh, troubles uh, setting up this element, feel free to subscribe to our support forums and my colleagues will uh, 
assist you there. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.